defrosting the fridge at the moment. Oh, you know how to treat her well, don't you? Morning, everybody. <laughs> Yesterday was fixing the garage door. She's got to earn her keep. You work that woman very hard. No, to be fair, though, we were all, like, my sister came round as well, and we're like, Mum, do you want a hand doing it? No, no, I just need the chisel. Let me do it. Was that for defrosting the freezer? Oh no, that was for the that was for the door. She fixed the garage like, door. It's not unheard of for me to use a hammer and a screwdriver to defrost my freezer. So no, true, true. <laughs> Definitely used a screwdriver before, haven't we? Because get there's a big chunk yeah. at the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shall we say some good mornings? Inside chat, we have got Nia and Lainey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Lainey. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> and dodo and antoinette and laurel and gem gem and dawn and midlife with m and nikki q hannah williams shirley boland janet vincent deb hughes lisa louise jason entwistle and tracy lewington on the record right uk and that's it oh jackie everton oh and rebecca she says church is just ending i have no idea what you're saying have you watching us on silent that could be really confusing oh and mandy bloom's there and mrs Bahardian and maria clark and have I said Jackie Egerton? Let's say her again, just in case. <laughs> and Guy Sullivan. Yeah, so Rebecca's watching us in church on silent, I believe. And Bumblebee and Sharon and Cheryl. And Yvonne. Glad Yvonne's in. Today we are going to do the draw for the... Blanket. The charity raffle. The charity raffle draw for blankets. So I want to plug it a little bit more during the stream, just in case anybody is Annalise just in case anybody isn't in who wants to be. And I also want to check in case there's been any donations that I haven't written down over the last day or so. So talk some sense a minute, Lex. Hang on. Nails by Susan. Is that our Auntie Sue? I think that's Auntie Sue. Yeah, I think she's got... I don't know. Wasn't she... Ne wasn't she well, I don't know now. I don't know the answer. Who was it? Is there another... Sue that does nails. But surely she'll be nails by Sue. You'd think so. I don't know. Now see now I'm I'm just yeah, I'm I'm all of all of it. I don't I'm confused. Thank you, saying for saying that you love the hair. It is obviously a bit cray at the moment. Please don't start doing that echo and thing again. Okay, I've just put the links in the side chat to the um, charity raffles for the brain, for, for brain, crochet blankets, crochet blankets made by Yvonne and my mum. Now, Nails by Susan is not anti Sula, it's different. Nails by Susan, dun dun dun. Oh, but that's another member of the Sue crew, so close at dawn. <laughs> There's Nadine and Claire Rosie coming in, look, and New England Thrifter. I miss Gillian Holbrook, sorry, Gillian. And um, and nails by Susan is Susan Hall, and I think I said and and Sue Bad Wolf is there as well. It's so early for her. And Gainer still up late from last Harris. night because <coughs> I, I left them chatting at about one o'clock. Um, so I don't know. And <laughs> stalls in look, we're still chatting at one a.m. Yeah. No, I when did, do these people not sleep? At past ten, I was like, I'm going. Good night. <laughs> They're all vampires, them and Joan. All Craig the Monocle and Tracy O'Neill. Look, everybody's in. Everybody, all of the old, the old gang are all here. We're getting the band back together. Yeah, it's a really big band. <laughs> <laughs> Monocle's changed his name. He is now the Monocle Arts and Media Artist. I feel that there is a story here that we should know. Monocle, tell mm. us more. And handmade by Louisiana Louise Benfield says, morning from wet, chilly Wales. Morning, <laughs> Alison Bell. It is wet and chilly here. Still don't go to sleep until 8 a.m. Bloody hell. <clears throat> I bet he still looks young and beautiful. Of course he does. I was talking to Josh this morning about Stall, and he was saying, so what, is he like 40-ish? And I was like, he'll be very pleased to hear you say that. <laughs> <laughs> and way out of your league, Josh. Yeah, you can't have him. Yeah. I don't know if Josh is home yet because he was going to go and buy a bit for his car on the way home. Morning, Joe Morris. A little bit, a gay bit, a little gay bit to stick on it. I expect so, yeah. Oh, someone had that the other day, didn't they? What's that? Reverted yeah, chain popping back up. Yeah. Hmm. Bizarre. 
He's very envious of you, Stephen, because you're doing better with your salt and pepper pots than he is. He said, I can't understand why mine don't sell. I've stolen all of Stall's keywords and it's still not working. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca says she's not here. She's a figment of everyone's imagination. Oh, then we we're all really messed up then, aren't we? That's not news. Mm. True. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see me haul? Have a yes. small haul. Yes, please. Um, so, yeah, we will be doing the draw for the charity raffle blanket, blanket raffle charity thing draw later on in the stream. So if you haven't bought any tickets, I've put the links in and somebody else, no doubt, will repost the links and you can pop off and buy tickets if you want to. Susan, want to. that's you. You're on, you're on that. Not you, Mum Susan. To the Susan. It's a popular name. Yes, back then. 1947. I paid three pounds for this. I have absolutely no idea if it's worth having or not. Uh, what what is it? It's a docking speaker, an iPad and iPhone docking speaker. I did no research. It was three pounds. I bought it. It might not even be in the box. Something's in the box. It could be a brick. Ooh, I do like a brick. I think it's in the box. But yeah, I, I have no idea if it's um. Is it having. something that can be uh like? Battery powered, so you could take it to the beach. It says, "Fill your bedroom with music and style." I don't know. My bedroom's not already filled with music and style. Yeah, that's very presumptuous of them. It doesn't look like it's battery powered. I think it's a plug-inable jobber. It's, it's got a clock thing on it. I'm, I'm selling it, aren't I? You can tell that I know what I'm on about. It sounds great. <laughs> Fidelio. Um, they also do headphones. This isn't them. <coughs> I think it's probably worth three quid. Oh, well, there we go. At least you've paid what it's worth. <laughs> At least I haven't overpaid for it. Yeah. That's something. Hello. Yeah, it's probably worth the three quid I paid. Hello, Christine. Hello, me. Hi, Christine. Hi, Aileen. And hi, Lee. And hi, anyone else? Oh, Lisa Louise says it's lovely in Belfast. Is that just in general? You know, just, just it's lovely in Belfast. It's lovely. It's lovely in Belfast. Yeah. In case anybody was wondering, it's all right. Belfast, Belfast, quite nice. There we go. Hi, Lisa Marshall, who says happy birthday to Lainey. Lainey, how old are you today? You're 21 today. Lainey's 21 every day. 21 every day. Pound a pair on these shoes. Is. Aren't they crackers? Um, no. They're Clark's unstructured, so somebody will want them. They're pink, them. so that's good. Yeah. I, like, I like a pink shoe. <laughs> I don't like those pink shoes. They're disgusting. You want a hotter sandal, you know you do. No, but once your ones are hotter, yeah, they are. Mm. Mum's been. Is Mum a size four? Does she like oh. a pink flowery foot? No. Then she won't want them. No. And a pound for this massive lump of fabric, which smells seriously cupboardy. Cupboardy, cupboardy. Very cupboardy. cupboardy is a word. Be a huge lump of fabric, so for a pound, that's going to have to go in the wash. And then 50p. Oh, no, I forgot my Nelly flumps. Pound for four Nelly flumps. A teeny tiny heifer lump. Teeny tiny Nelly flump. And then some slightly bigger half lumps and one that's had a bit of a trauma because he's got a tusk missing. Aww. In fact, he might have two tusks missing now since I brought him home. Yeah, he only had one tusk missing when I picked him up, but I've untusked him. Aww. You're basically well, he's now he looks like he's meant to be tusked. for four Nelly flumps. Mm. And 30p for this. This is, you know, genuinely, occasionally at the car boot, you think, oh, I've been thinking about getting one of them, and there it is. It's one of them. It's a, a little picnic basket. Picnic basket for when I go Yogi Bear in the woods. Dog hmm? Oh, Josh wants to go Yogi Bear. Josh wants well, you to start again. Um, good morning, everybody, and welcome to today. <laughs> no, no, Josh, I can't. You should have got home quicker. Yeah, exactly. Hands off out for lunch. Got to go out for lunch. Don't want to. Nothing wrong going out for lunch. I'm, I'm a big fan of going out for lunch. I'm not going out for lunch today. We're having gammon steak and cauliflower cheese and tender stem broccoli. 
That sounds like a nice dinner. Mm, Patricia says, all a bit hutchy out there today. What's hutchy? Shit weather, is that what it means? Um, rabbit hutchy? Sawdust in the air. Josh, as far as I'm aware, you do not take a picnic with you when you go dogging. Well, as far as I'm aware, the food is not the focus of the outing. But it's a nice bonus. I'm, I'm willing to be educated. Stoll says, if I soak matchsticks in water, eventually I can bend them, paint them white, and lose them as re use them as replacement tusks. Wait, who are you? I probably won't, though. Yeah. Oh, his tail's bust as well. What's Stoll's solution for that one? Um, it's a Manx. It's a Manx elephant. It's a Manx elephant. <laughs> <laughs> chili, hot is chili, apparently. Uh, mm. <laughs> Still, solution for that is the bin. Mm. <laughs> Aww. Quite disabled Nelly Flump. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, COVID's playing up a bit today. Ooh. I've got a little bit of a, a chip. <coughs> Great minds think alike. Look, Josh says you've got to carry the lube some way, and Monocle says it keeps the lube cool. Great minds think alike. Oh, it's Father's Day, isn't it? Happy Happy Father's Day to all who are fathers, and um, thoughts are with those who find today difficult because some people do. Morning, Andrea. Lainey says, fingers crossed I can eat today. I've got cheesecake coming. To be honest, Lainey, it'd be worth being ill for, wouldn't it? <laughs> Oh, are you hung over, Lainey? Are you poorly today? I'm fine. She's not hung over. She wasn't drinking. But the reason she wasn't drinking was because her tummy wouldn't allow her to yesterday. She said she didn't. her stomach wasn't good and she didn't want to push it. Ah, that's fair enough. Well, then you should feel all sprightly today. Are you sniffing that's shoes? the most cupboardy smelling shoe I've ever, ever bought. That's all the cupboard in the world. Joseph Siebel for 50p. Siebel? Siebel. 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 Serbal, 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 serbal. Heavy night with Jason. Who's had a heavy night with Jason? Morning, cook along with Jason, Tom. Jason Momoa. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you wake up in the night and find him staring at you, Lainey? Oh, that's a good point. You, instead of like standing him up, you could just like salivate them. For the Did I tell you my story of Spike? Spike. I ever told you my story. You remember Spike from Buffy? From Buffy, yeah. Tammy acquired one of those life-size cutouts of Spike from Buffy, but she brought it home with her very late after a night out. And it's when she was living here, and she just stood up in the front room and went to bed. And I went down at 2 a.m. for a wee. And um, yeah, yeah was a vampire. <laughs> and there was a fucking vampire standing in the front room. <laughs> We had um, terrifying. In, in Blockbuster, we got sent. Well, we got sent a Darth Vader one, and we also get had one for the King's Speech. So you know, um, what's his face? What's his name? Anyway, yeah, him. him. There was a life size Colin one, Firth. and I Colin Firth. Yeah, I just left it behind the counter and, and just went and sat out back for a while. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah, Colin, you can man the place. It's fine. <laughs> You're in charge, Colin. Try and sell some oh, shit. You'll probably do a better job than me right now. <laughs> and he did. It was great. He sold loads. Right. Sorry. Just keep. I'm just catching up on the latest donations. Lainey's just made one. Lainey's just made a donation, so I'm adding her on the list. Don't want to be wrong. When we come to do the draw, I don't want to get accused of of nefarious newbrings. Yeah, Lainey says that's why I was all hot this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's thinking he's had a heavy night and not noticed. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Aileen. Congratulations, Nova Scotia. <laughs> Nothing to say. Hi, Lynn. Lynn says she's not getting notified. What time did we start? We've been running about 14 minutes, Lynn. You might need to un. un Unbell and then rebell. Apparently, apparently that helps. <clears throat> That's a very technical way of describing it. Yes, I got some exploding kittens. I've got that one. That's the not safe to work one. Yeah, they're, 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 they're a pound, but 
I don't know if that looks as if there might be some cards missing because there seems to be quite a large space. Uh, so I don't know. Let me have a look. I don't know how many cards is meant to be, but I might not have a full deck. Well, we know that already. Uh -huh. I haven't, Josh. I haven't. I thought I'd sneak it into the end of the waffle. It doesn't say on the box how many cards I should have, so that's going to make it very difficult to um to establish, isn't it? It's down there somewhere behind the seats. 56. I should have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not listening to you, Lex. I bet you were a nightmare at school. I no, I was really good actually. <laughs> I, well, not even really good. I said this before. I'm like, I was very much an under the radar kind of kid. Nobody noticed I was there. Never made any silent problems. anarchist. Meanwhile, taking them down from within. So that's the, all the serial killers. People always say, "Oh no, he was ever such a nice guy. You never would have thought it." Yeah. No, it wasn't until sixth form when um, um, kind of came out of myself a little bit, I suppose. Bleached my hair, wore eyeliner, wore dark mountain boots to school, which wasn't allowed. But I, was like, I envisage all of the other students suddenly looking at you like they look at Sandy at the end of Greece. <laughs> <laughs> it was exactly like that. Lex! Yeah. Danny! <laughs> it was exactly like that. Yeah. I've have, I have got a full deck. Thank you, Sue Bad Wolf, for putting the links in. If anybody wants um raffle tickets, buy them now because we will be doing the drawing a bit. Susan says, any tips for removing cupboardy smells from handbags you get in charity shops? Yes, fill them with either um Lenore Unstoppables, preferably tied up in little bags so that you can get the fuckers out again afterwards. Or tumble dryer sheets and bung them in a plastic bag and leave them for a bit. A bit. I mean, it can be a big bit, it could be a little bit, it could be, and leave it until it's gone. <laughs> Lynn, you haven't missed my bits. You've only missed a couple of my bits, but I'm still getting my bits out. Did you do fill a bag today? Yeah. Did Josh? Two comforters, 25p each. Josh did fill a bag, but he wasn't overly chuffed with his fill a bag results. Oh. I've got a bit out of my comfort zone and bought two remote controls for a pound. <gasps> Are you crazy? It's Dave Keefe's fault. Do you, find, do you find that if you watch other resellers, you go off and buy stuff you never would have bought before? It's Dave Keefe's fault. He buys remote controls. He seems to be a very, very successful reseller. So obviously what I need to make me a very successful reseller is to buy remote controls. Absolutely. Um, I do watch... <laughs> nobody. Somebody sent you a Cliff Richard book, Lainey? Yeah, <laughs> nobody wants that. Um, yeah, it's like watching Derek Tat Peddler. You go like, oh my god, he sells a lot of like, you know, like stuff that that I see lying around. You know, with these plate with cables and things. And then you go, maybe I? No, 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 no. Because if Derek you want to feel better about yourself as a reseller, though, you have a look at Derek's storage system. And then you come away feeling holier than thou. <laughs> um, I, I think Derek does a wonderful job. Like he's very, he's very I good. I don't know how he copes with it. No, I've seen him picking his orders and I'm there going, oh my <laughs> God. I don't know how he does it, bless him. I mean, obviously you do you, boo. Whatever works for you is fine. But oh my God. I know. This <laughs> system scares me. <laughs> Bloody hell. Makes me feel, like I said, holier than thou. Dev says she bought some trainers, three pounds for thirty pound. One pair at the moment is going for thirty pounds, thirty six on auction. Nice, very nice. And lady can't give that Cliff Richard book away to save her life. Morning, Rachel. Why yeah. have you got a Cliff Richard book? Has somebody sent you as a birthday present? Because she loves Cliff so. She does love Cliff. She's a massive Cliff fan. Cliff, Cliff fan. Donny Glow in the Dark Darko is watching with me. <laughs> I also got a Dorma. I think that's honeysuckle. I oh, think it's honeysuckle. But it's got two pillowcases with it that aren't, which was a bit odd. I'm fairly sure that those aren't the honeysuckle. So, I, I'm hoping that you're not asking me that. Because no, I usually, I usually pick Indy's brains on this kind yeah, of thing, but yeah. sometimes other people know as well. And not me. Sometimes the label says, but I bet it won't. Oh, it's Country Diary. Country Diary. 
So the well, yes, of course, Stephen knows. There you yeah. go. I do need your help identifying them, Stephen. Are they pollen count number five or number six? <laughs> uh, midlife for them. Have you done any videos on starting to be a reseller? I've no idea where to start. I have not. Um, I have been a reseller for so very, very long. I've been on eBay for so long that my knowledge probably isn't any good to someone just starting out. You know what I mean? It's I don't know how you set. Somebody said the other day, can you do a, a video on how you set up an eBay account? No, because I don't know any of it anymore. It's all a complete mystery to me as well. I've had them so, for so long. Yeah, it's probably but, um, very much changed since, like, like, my first eBay account was back 1997. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. As, as, as Bad Wolf says, you always start by selling your own stuff. Never invest more than you can afford. Never buy something that co doesn't cost more money than you can afford to have tied up in it. And um, and don't underprice your postage. And yeah, I, a real bugbear of mine is don't do free post. I, f I honestly feel like free post is a... It gives the customer the wrong idea. The number of people have said to me, well, you got the postage free. No, I bloody didn't. You got the postage free. You know, um, don't underprice yourself postage wise. Remember that there are fees right, left and centre. Don't be surprised when you don't make as much money as you think you've made. And remember, the tax man's very interested. Yeah. And if you, are buying, if you are buying to uh, with the purpose to resell, you should be registered with HMRC. Um, yeah, I think it's up to a thousand pound of your own stuff you can sell in a year without having yeah. to. But I might again, don't quote me on that. When it comes to things like that, I don't really know because I put everything through the books because I can't be asked to not. Yeah, same. Yeah, it sounds silly, doesn't it? But I actually pay tax on stuff I don't need to pay tax on because it's easier than trying to separate it all up. I know a lot of people have two accounts, don't they? And they do their private stuff on one account and they do their, their reselling. I can't be asked to all that either. No, I can't be bothered. Sorry, I'm still writing down. Um, but yeah, uh, Raffle, thank you to everyone who is donating, by the way. Much appreciated. Yeah, there you go. Um, don't even charge the actual postage, always add at least 20% on top of yeah, exactly. Because eBay will charge you fees, yeah, even on your postage costs. Yeah, eBay take 20% off of your postage money as well as everything else, and that's another thing that people do. I, a, a number of times I've seen people pricing it at three pounds, second class, small parcel. I'm like, you've lost money on that, mate. Mm -hmm. eBay have taken 60p out of that before you've got anywhere with it, you know, yeah, or someone's like, I, I see it quite a lot when I'm uh, researching jewelry prices undersold that someone has got you know they put it on a three quid they've sold it as for mm. example with free post and you're like that's not even like large letter size so yeah you've actually sold that at, at a negative yeah if that sells at that price you're stuffed mate yeah, yeah. joan says hmrc told us it's only a business if the profit is above 2500 per year um, I'll take your word for it, Joan. However, I believe that you should register as self-employed, even if you are not making enough money to pay the tax. I yeah. believe that they like you to still be registered. They would, I, I believe that the, the guideline is be registered, put in a zero tax return, put in a nil return rather than not be registered at all, I believe. But again, I'm not here for tax advice. Please check with people who actually know what they're talking about rather than people who sit here and go, I believe. <laughs> this is definitely Dorma. It is country diary, it's just honeysuckle on the back. So, so they do go together like shoo up, shoo waddy waddy, yippity dingy dang. Remember forever, like rama lama lama. And this is a bedspread, a quilted bedspread. Plainly worth a billion to pounds. I've gone up. I don't want things to be worth a million to pounds anymore. I've gone up to billion to because, you know, inflation. Million tea's just not enough nowadays, is because, it? What can you get with a million tea? I don't know, you can't even get a dormer bedspread. No, no. <laughs> Lexi says, if you're selling your old stuff, it's okay. Lexi, I believe it's up to a thousand pound of your own stuff that you can sell before the tax man is interested. But please do double check, triple check, quadruple check before you take my word for it. And there is a difference between stuff that you have bought and used for a period of time and therefore it was yours and then you are selling it on and stuff you bought from a car boot sale, took it home, thought you might keep it for yourself, tried it on, and then decided to resell it. There is there is a difference. <laughs> like I said, please don't take tax advice from idiots on the internet. 
<laughs> Please make sure that you go to people who actually know shit. <laughs> I Hi, ben. give all of mine to an accountant. I pay them some money at some point. That's what Josh was saying this morning, he's thinking of having an accountant next year. Yeah, and and just let them stress about it and fill it all in for you, and then they'll just let you know how much you owe. Any decent accountant should um, save you enough money that it'll pay for them, if you see what I mean. And also, yeah. like for me, I'm I'm I don't have the brain space for stuff like that. It's one less uh, thing to think about, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, and you know, I know if I did my taxes. I would have to sit down for a couple of days and go, oh, and I can't do that. I'd much rather go away, go away. Good luck, Mr. Accountant. Bye bye. I'm going to the pub. Much more fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think you have to register as a business, regardless of, of whether or not you make any money. I think, I think. Mm. And, and, and definitely, this is not just for the case of keeping the tax man happy, it's, it's for covering your own back, really. And the actual registering as self-employed with the tax people, that bit I do remember takes seconds. Yeah, that, that, that is, is a bit bash bosh. You know, that, that, although it sounds terrifying, that bit is simple. The registering as yeah. self-employed takes no time. Morning, and, Catherine. You've missed everything. You've missed so much good stuff. You've missed nothing. <laughs> and, and it's, yeah, you register it online. And then a few days later, they send you something in the post, which is like your your UT, UTR, your new yeah, something yeah. tax do like do job, which you lose. You lose Obviously. that and then you put it somewhere safe and then you spend the rest of your life searching for it because you'd be surprised how many times you need it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, um, yeah, and then you can just do everything online then. So you can put in your tax return. You can see how much money you'll owe and things like that. You can pay in, like, in advance if you're crazy enough to do that. Um, but, yeah, just do that. It's really, it's not that difficult, but it does cover your own back. And you should do it if you are buying to resell or finding stuff to resell there we go clapham coin says i work for hmrc there we go shit everyone run hide ah. Hi, <laughs> people are saying hello to you in the doorway but they can't see you Hello. it's nat and freya i think it was me hiya talking to but you know you're, you're not famous aren't you frags <laughs> <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Max. Uh, thanks, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> We're all a bit confused. <laughs> well, Max said last time that she was my daddy. Who's your daddy? <laughs> Who's your daddy? Yeah, hey, no, have a treat. I mean, don't have a treat yourself. Oh, thank you Definitely so much. Right, I've got a treat. Yeah. I filled a bag. Yeah, you filled a bag. It's a Tetris. Uh, this is my filler bag, by the way. Everything here, three quid for the lot. Uh, right, yeah, we're going to little on that. Okay. We're going to. Can I have some tender stem broccoli, please? And I need to pay you for Tesco shopping you from do. yesterday. I have no idea how much it was. You got the receipt. Oh, uh, I'll find that. It was quite a lot. Isn't it? That, that I'll find the receipt. Yeah, but my share wasn't 50 quid. Leave no, the room. No, Leave! Like You're dead you to me. Bop it. <laughs> Bop it Tetris. That looks insane. I genuinely have no idea what I'm meant to do. Yeah. <laughs> like watching a train wreck. It's rude. Bopit Tetris is impolite. <laughs> Clap and coins, darling. You have asked me a question I cannot answer. For I only go to the place I go. You are asking me for knowledge for which I cannot... You go to sleep. For which I cannot... I, 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 uh, I don't know if lots of places do it, because... I think your one is the only place where I've, where I've seen it. Um, do you know who used to get a lot of filler bag, but I think they used to get them from charity shops more than car boot, was um, Caroline and Phil. 
Celtic traders. Where did they get it from then? I think they had a charity shop that used to do filler bags. Oh, did, yeah. Well, she used to buy massive bags of um, like toys, toys and stuff. Yeah. 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 But yeah, so I've got um, Pop It Tetris, which um, seems to sell for about 12, 13 quid. So that'll pay for the rest of the bag. Can you now throw it into Matt's room, never to be seen again? There must be an off switch somewhere, but I have not located it. There's no off. Silent. Thanks. Hello. Will it remain silent? Morning, Jack. Morning, Donna. Um, also in filler bag. It's, I'll tell you what, it's a thrilling filler bag today, mind. Is that for your kitchen? That is for my kitchen, yeah. Yeah, it's literally just, just it's to hold me chopping boards and, and stuffs up because the one we've got isn't working. The one we've got is actually a triangular plate standard. Yeah, it's not interesting. There you go. Ben says, my mate does eBay. He does free postage and packaging on everything on one of the hated eBays that undercuts everyone, but he uses it to clear stock as he buys large numbers of one item. That's it. That's not really competition for people like myself who buy odd, odds and ends of one item, you know? Yeah, I, would, I wish we had the bins, Lynn. That'd be great. Yeah, definitely. Or just the massive Goodwill stores that they have. Yeah. Hi, Kaz. You ever get an itch on the top, on the roof of your mouth? Does that mean something? It means that you're going to swallow a lot of money. <laughs> you all right there? Yeah? Did it go up your nose a bit? Just It's still in your mouth, is it? Swallow it, Carla. Swallow it. Just swallow it. You can at that. <laughs> yeah that is for chopping boards um yeah um basically i've got i've got loads of chopping boards i don't know why Good morning heather i have not got mouth thrush donna thank you <laughs> just got an itch <laughs> means i'm getting cold lynn says morning night's life has says happy sunday on father's day everybody new england says what are your bins in the uk we don't have the bins we don't, it's not a thing that I think exists here. Although, no, did he, he go to something similar? Yeah, I think near him there's like a big warehousey type thing, like a central massive charity mm. shop. And I think he says that they wheel out bins there, but I've never seen it. Mm. Oh, Sam's in. She says she thinks all us resellers should open a big warehouse and get it and fill it full of the shite we can't get rid of. I no, think we should have a reseller's swap shop one day. I think we should have a reseller's multi where we just turn up with everything we don't want and we all just dive in and take anything that, yeah. I don't have anything I don't want. I'm not so you must have some, you know what I mean? There must be stuff you've, that, well, maybe not you, but for example, things that I've gone, that'll do, I'll put it in a bundle and then I've never found the rest of the bundle, you know? I think I've gotten rid of all of that stuff by now. I think I gave, I gave my Harry Potters to Nick and I think that was about it. That's all I had. This is also for me, but I didn't realise how manked up it was. It needs a good spin through the dishwasher. It's just a drawer organiser that goes in your in your desk drawers. I've already got one, and when I spotted this, I thought I'd have another one. But that needs to go through the dishwasher. Everything's a bit... today. Hmm. Lexi says, would either of you buy one of the Amazon pallet things? Um, not for me, purely because I do not have the space to store volume. Morning, Mama Jean. I've had a look, because um, I know that, um, oh, what's her name? Holly? Is it Holly? Holly Vlogs, something like that. She's like a couponer. Yes, um, couponer, yeah, that's her, yeah. yeah. Um, I know she bought a couple recently, and it was all, well, mostly like baby stuff and kitchen stuff. But I think she said that it was all right for her because she wanted kitchen stuff and baby stuff. Yeah. So I've had a look on the website that she had underneath. Um, and they do seem like good value, like if it's stuff that you want. If it's stuff to resell, you think it's quite risky. Yeah. Um, because even though it goes like, you know, oh, you know, nice smeg kettle or whatever, you, you could end up, you've got like someone's rusty old smeg kettle that you can't do anything with, and then you've got to get rid of it and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Because people aren't always very honest about their Amazon returns, are they? Well, no, exactly. You know. Yeah. 
I know there are people, there are dishonest people in, in this world that will buy something from Amazon or even from eBay and stop it with their own broken one and send it back. Kelly says we should all drive to a location and we could walk around each other's cars and see if there's anything we fancy. Oh, wait, that sounds a bit like reseller dog in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up for that. And Sam said I've just had a full-on lecture from my mother on how my house is full of shite and I'd be a lot more relaxing if it was less full of shite, lol. Nice. Go and relax in your own house, mother. <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine's off on holiday. Have fun. Hi, Sean Mix. I got this in my filler bag. That's is that is that is that a colory colour no, it's not. I thought it was that fashion wheel thing from from No, it's a dog puzzle toy and they sell for about 20 quid, bizarrely enough. So you put the dog treats in here and the dog has to learn to unlock the bits and slide the bits around to access the treats. Oh, a friend of mine has um, um, uh, an acquaintance on Facebook has her own, I think it's a Harris Hawk, and she uses that for to get it to yeah to work out yeah. things as well. Yeah, I'm going to let Molly have a go with it. I, I don't think she'll manage it and then I'm going to sell it. <laughs> Hi, Tasty. Uh, Tom says, I've bought returns, discontinued lines in larger quantities and can make good money, but have some unsellable items, especially if clothing's involved. Mm -hmm. That's it. I think you've got people who deliberately break stuff so that they can return it because they don't realize that they can return stuff without it being broken don't you know what i mean for clothing wise you know you've got people who will unpick a seam so that they can return something and, and shit like that you know so hi Haley's, first time catching a live welcome alien yeah. says my house is full of shite so very little of it is mine doing a full out clean <laughs> Ooh, lovely elaine's off to gloucester today in cornwall tomorrow i hope the weather cheers up here elaine I got a clock. I can't decide whether it's modern or not. I mean, it's got a battery in the back, so it's not that old. I would say, I'd say 90s, wouldn't you? That was the kind of shite we had on the wall in the 90s. Yeah, but Pine says 90s. Really. Yeah. Yeah. And some vintage Christmas napkins. Ah. Oh. Proper, you know, material napkins, they're not paper, either. you probably can't tell. Loads of them as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's weird. I bet there should have been twelve. Hi. Yes, love. I've just found a text. Yeah. Hi, this is a reminder that Kai is drunk groom room on the 23rd at 11 o'clock. So they haven't trans they haven't they moved in then. Good, we'll turn up. You gonna go get 100% cotton made in Britain, so they must be old. We don't make anything here. <laughs> oh, thank you. Sue is Sue is still popping the um links in the chat. If you're wondering what Sue's putting in, those are the links to the fundraising pages for the charity blanket raffles, which we will be doing shortly. And I'm trying to, if, if I go quiet, it's because I'm trying to keep up with making sure that I put everybody's entrance down. Um, I just had a, an email from um, from Mel. I don't know if Mel is watching, but um, she says um, that she used to work in Blockbuster too, like at head office. Um, like, we should have a mutual bitching session about, <laughs> about Blockbuster HQ. Is yes, that was fun, but also just but a distant memory now. Oh, the block bless you, thank you. Ben <laughs> <laughs> says it's not a good idea with the swap, as Nick will bring the plumbing parts and let's ask if anyone wants his plumbing parts. <laughs> And he'll take everybody's media. <laughs> wool for mother. Just because the little bag of wool chucked it in the filler bag. That's the rather bright one. Oh, really? <laughs> I um I used to get people to to um try and uh, to write complaints about me. You know, you know when you'd have one of them customers and um and they were like, oh, I'm going to write to your head office about you. And I'm like, my name's Lex, L-E-double X. Please make sure you spell it right. And the address is free post blockbuster. Thank you. Bye. Get out of the shop. 
<laughs> I think oh, I'm I want to speak to your manager. I am yeah. my manager. I know. I used to love that. Like, can I speak to the manager, please? Yeah, sure. One second. Hi. Yes, that's me. <laughs> oh, very nice. Very 80s. They're a bit vintage, aren't they? Yeah. I said 80s, and then I, I went into the search and just put in 80s salt and pepper, and it brought up a minute. What would you describe them as for a search? Grid. Grid, yeah, I was thinking maybe yeah. grid. So I got salt and pepper, and then randomly there was a coffee. That was it. There was no no tea or sugar. And the coffee has, the coffee lid has been repaired, so the coffee probably not worth having, but salt and pepper might turn out to be worth a million to pounds. Oh, that's cool. Historic stuff says what's on sale here. Nothing's on sale here. Well, it's all on sale here if you want to buy it, but I'm not here selling. 80s grid salt pepper. I've never got the hang of that Google Lens thing, Clapham Coins. I really must get my head around that. Oh, it's great. It's so useful. Get Josh to give you some keywords. <laughs> yeah, they'll get them all from stall. Yeah. So do I just do, do just do I just blah 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 bleh, Google Lens? Have I got an app? Well, have you got Google on your phone? Yes. Right, hang on. Because I was just using it. So have you got the little thing that looks like television on the search bar? No. Oh, in that case, you're, is yours a Samsung then? Yeah. Android. So you have to download the actual lens app. I'm, I'm in it. I'm on it. I'm doing it. Mm. They might have a mark on the bottom, might we all? It says B18 and then a 6 and then... I don't even know what that is. A weird, a weird mark. Yes, they are marked. They've got marks on their bum. Run Resolver sold the G ones of those for about 20 pounds. The G ones? The G ones. The G ones, Debs. Green ones, maybe? I don't know. Grey ones? We're not charging you extra for doing full words. <laughs> what do you mean, the G ones? Help me out here. Imagine I'm thick. Open camera. Allow all the time. Allow. Similar images. It's found me. It's found me. The, it's found, why can't I speak? It's found me the tea, coffee, and sugar. Wow. It's only found me the tea, coffee, and sugar on pick click. Shannon says, I'm in bed with a hangover and I'm apparently getting the blame for Cliff Guy. Even, even with a mended lid, do you think, Josh? Like I said, it's been badly glued. $28.99 if I had a full set of those. Retro CLP brown glass. Do the search. Oh, biscuits, flour, everything. I, like I said, I'm sure I remember these being in people's kitchens. Usually on telly. Remember seeing them on in, in, in you know, when you were watching like I don't know, Coronation Street or something in the eighties. Twelve pounds somebody's got them listed for. It's not bad out of filler bag, is it? Yeah, it must be rare then, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just replying to a message. Yeah, and I'm just reading the side chat, so we've all gone silent. Sorry. Oh, I got this for you. Oh? Just because it was filler bag, so I filled the bag. Oh, thank you very much. I thought that might be useful. I was like, oh, that's no, got... Yeah. So, remind me next time I see you that I've got that for you. Cool. And because I watch other resellers, and I think I know what I'm doing because I watch them, I bought a PC game... The white label Screamer 2, probably worthless. But that's Nick's fault because Nick's been buying PC games. Uh, it's a big box one. Apparently that's good, isn't it? Apparently so. No exact matches found. Oh, 
I don't think I want to put Screamer into Google. You never know what you might get. Big box Screamer. That does sound a bit weird. Well, somebody sold Screamer and Screamer 2, and they've got it on for four ninety nine. So um, I, I, won't, I won't book my Ferrari just yet. There are none in sold, so it's obviously a very, very rare. Meh, fill a bag. In it went. Did you I did scan the barcode stall? It came up with no no matches. I did do that. That is a thing what I did do. Sorry, I'm just checking that I haven't missed any um donations on the on the raffle pages. Ben, that's extremely generous of you. Thank you very much, darling. Sorry. Also, somebody's come in with an anonymous. Um, if you if you want to be in the raffle, then you need to put a name because if it comes out as anonymous, I won't know which anonymous it is. If you see what I mean, it's fine if you didn't want to be in the raffle at all and you just watch donate. Then I'm very very grateful for that. Thank you awfully. But if you did want to be in the raffle and you haven't put your name into the donation page. We're stuffed. If it comes up as an anonymous for the win, I'll have to redraw it because um, because there are several anonymouses, so there's no way of you could you could all go that was me, and I wouldn't know if it was you or not. If you see what I mean, morning D. Yeah, big box screamer. Yeah, that's not my donkey. Like I said, we're just doing filler bags, so that was a bit of a win for filler bag. A random. Juicy Lucy Designs, Port Mirian, small bowl. It's not an egg cup unless you've got a massive egg. Small bowl. Um, for uh, sauce, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, Port Mirian. I'm a bit, I'm a bit happy about Port Mirian at the moment. So, and also a, a bobble filter, which is probably probably worthless. But like I said, fill a bag. Who watched last week and said the amount of crap Carla buys? It's amazing she ever makes any money. Somebody did. And they said it in a really lovely way as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, people are saying sugar, dip bowl, espresso cup. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? More in French fancies. They're right. I do buy a lot of crap, but I also do manage to make enough money to pay the bills. So finally, a second edition, personality, individual differences and intelligence textbook. Dr. Marcus Munafo of the University of Bristol said about this book. There are many textbooks on this topic, but few as comprehensive and accessible. So well done, John Maltby, Liz Day and Anne McCaskill. You have impressed Dr. Marcus Munafo. And he's a good guy. Like me and him go drinking all the time. So I'm glad I'm not a student. Look at the shit they have to read. Look at the... Yeah. I couldn't An go example back. will help to clarify the application of self-efficacy. Let us compare two students, Dan and Stuart, who have to give assessed seminar presentations. One student, Dan, is quite looking forward to his presentation. He knows if he does well, he will get a good mark, and he really wants to do well this year to get a good degree. He knows from experience. Of... Let's hope it's worth a fortune. M's battery's dying. She's off. Uh, D says, thank you for mentioning, put Josh on. Yeah, Josh did reach his subs thing. And um, and now he's trying to get his watch hours sorted, I believe. So so go and watch Josh for 4,000 hours, please. Each. Yeah, <laughs> everyone. everyone. Morning, Claire. Put him on every single device that you've got and leave him running all week. Yeah. I did leave him running on my phone overnight once. Did you? Yeah. Well, imagine waking up for Josh murmuring away in the background. I know, bless him. I mean, the monocle knows what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> is the monocle still with us or has he snuck off? <laughs> oh, see, Heather's been working through all his videos. I like the ones best where you can see straight up his nose. Those are my favourites. <laughs> that's what I look for in a 
in a video. Can I see up people's noses? I like it when he buys um, filler bag. Oh, wait, that's all the time. Last week, we got to the car boot, and before he looked at any stores, he went, there's nothing here today. And I was like, go and look. Go and shop immediately. <laughs> yeah, try harder, Joshington. Lee says, it was me who said you buy crap, Carl. I hope you wasn't offended. No, I'm not. I do buy a lot of crap. It's true. I buy an awful lot of crap. But it does tend to sell. As a rule, it's surprisingly successful crap. What was your, um, uh, you know, mugs don't make any money, do they? Yeah, Josh keeps telling me I shouldn't buy mugs. Mm. Stop so. buying mugs, he says. You've got too many mugs. Stop buying mugs. You don't need to buy any more mugs. I wasn't listening to Josh the day I bought that mug. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. not bad at all. That Eight was good. For a mug. You just need two idiots, don't you? The idiot to sell you it for low enough and the idiot to buy it for more. And then you can just be the idiot in the middle and, and make it work. Juicy Lucy Designs. I like Brum Reseller. I really do like Brum Reseller. If you don't watch Brum Reseller, you should watch. And I really like Dave Keefe as well. Like I said, it's his fault I bought those. Um, uh, blah, 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 controls. But I really like his videos. He um, does good videos, Dave Keefe. He's a Vernus biker lifestyle. I mentioned him in a video the other week. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go to sleep. I've got to pick my mother up in a minute. There's no going to sleep. It's gone very quiet in the house, though. Everybody seems to have gone somewhere. I'm going swimming in a bit again. Are you? I still can't get a lane, though. I mean, I can't, you know, I can't, I can get the fast lane, but I can't swim fast. Um, the swim lane is booked up for like six weeks. Oh, mine. Oh, I love mine. Um, let's refresh because I book through the app like yours as well but because mine's a hotel like they only allow a certain amount of people in so like say right now there's no one in the gym and there's only three people in the pool hmm. so i'm gonna book nice. i know it's great I good morning Dermot. nice to see you I haven't seen you for ages hope you're well Dermot erin of, of Dermot and sue yes from across the way, across the water. Shall I do this charity blanket draw thing? Yes. Can you talk to the nice people while I remember how to find a comment finder thing? Hello, nice. I, people. I want a random number gen number generator, don't I? Yes. Hello, nice people, and thank you for donating to um, uh, to Carla's page or Carla's mum's page. In aid of which charity? Is it the... There are two. One is the British Lung Foundation and one is Macmillan. So the massive pastel blanket made by mostly Yvonne Lee and finished by Mum is being raffled in aid of the British Lung Foundation. Has raised £185, which is amazing. Mum will be delighted. I'm sure Yvonne's delighted too. I need to screen share, don't I? Bear with, bear with, bear with. Are you bearing? Um, bearing left slightly. Oh, hang on. I think it's gone up a bit. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. I oh, know there's there's two more donations, but if one of them is Yvonne herself and she's put donation only, and the other one is anonymous. So we are fine. We have got we've raised two hundred and twenty five pounds, but there are one hundred and eighty five entries in the draw. I hope that makes sense. Anyone who has donated anonymously means there'll be less numbers. Makes sense to me. Yes, I get it. Share screen. Share screen. Share screen. Chrome tab. Random number generator. Share. Let me know when you are seeing this random thing. Okay, so we've got numbers 1 to 185. I've got a list here in front of me of, of which name um, corresponds to which number. So we'll, we'll flip back. Well, I'll do the generate and then I'll flip back to me and you can see the list. Generate number number 17 
Um, stop screen. Is it me again? Yeah. Numbers 13 to 22 on that one are Antoinette Daly. Well done, Antoinette. You have won the large pastel blanket. Yay, Antoinette. I'm putting a circle around that one. Okay, now I need to go and set it back up again to do the other one. So the other one is for Macmillan. The top number on that is 132. And that is for the smaller, bright colour blanket that was done purely by Mum. Share screen. I'm sorry, I have to talk myself through it every time. <laughs> Are you now seeing the screen share thing? Yes. So you can see the top number is 132. The 17 is still showing from when that was Antoinette a minute ago. I'm going to click generate again. And that is number two, which is Mike Dando. Mike Dando. So come back to me and I will show you that it is Mike Dando on the thing. Stop screen. Can you see that? Numbers one to five are Mike Dando. And on the other one, numbers 13 to 22 were Antoinette. So well done, Mike and Antoinette. I definitely have Mike's address somewhere. I think I've got Antoinette's address. I'm sure I have. Well, Antoinette, if I haven't got you guys, I'll be in touch. Wait, Antoinette is saying, re-raffle the blanket because she won the Harry Potter one last time. Oh, don't put it on me. Oh, no, I'm very scared now. Carla did a da, Carla did a bad murder then. She murdered herself. I fell oh, out. <laughs> so am I back in? I fell out of the chat. You are now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Antoinette was saying what? Sorry, Antoinette says um, to to redraw it because uh, she won the Harry Potter one last time. Are you sure, Antoinette? Because you've won it fair and square. I'm not redrawing it until she says she's definitely definitely sure. Because you won it fair and square, you're entitled to win more than one thing in your life. I've won loads of things. I don't win anything much, but I don't tend to enter anything much. I did win tickets to see the Hannah Montana movie. Oh. <laughs> to be fair, Nat was like nine at the time, so she was really pleased. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I, um, I did a whole year of entering competitions. Oh, here we go. Antoinette says yes. Oh, thank you very much. Um, Susan, it's a shame to Kelly. Was Kelly are, you, are you no longer YouTubing, Kel? I realised you were having a, an extended break, but have you decided not to... Oh, yeah, she says no longer didn't know that. We'll miss you. Stay with us. We love you. I could do with a holiday, couldn't we all? Okay, so if, if Antoinette is quite sure, I am going to regenerate. I'm going to share screen, share screen, Chrome tab, random number generator. Is it showing as the random number generator? Um, yes, I think you have to change the bottom number, don't you? The number. Um, 185, and I've changed that one already. Okay, generate. It's 151, and that is going to be our Ben. AR Ben. Our Ben. Hang on, coming back to me. Stop screen. <laughs> there we go. That is the large donation that Ben made at the last at the last minute there. So there we yeah. go. Okay, I'm I'm pretty sure I've got Ben's address somewhere as well. I seem to have everyone's address. Which is quite worrying. <laughs> you should be very afraid. Very, very afraid. <laughs> well done, Ben. Okay, I will get those off to you guys um, during the week. And um, mum is really, really pleased. However, she has got the bug now of, of trying to make you guys spend money for charity. So I'm going to have to rein her in a bit. Otherwise, we're just going to have a raffle every day. <laughs> I keep saying to her, if you just make a few bits, maybe I'll put you on Etsy. Oh, no, I don't want to be on Etsy. No, maybe I'll do it. I'll, you, I'll do it on Etsy. <laughs> you can Aww. make money for charity on Etsy. It'd be right. <laughs> yeah, no Kelly says she'll pop on other channels, but she's not doing her own anymore. <laughs> oh, well, we'll miss you. But as well, as long as long as long as you're happy with your decision. But we mm. will miss you. I am a time lord. I am the master. Get her to make small squares. What do you want small squares for, Mike? Wow. That's a good win. That is a good win. Yeah. 
it's been a slow week, Dermot, I've got to say. Um, it picked up. Thank you to everyone who's still donating, by the way. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Sean. Um, it picked up for me yesterday. I had a good day yesterday, but I had a really bloody slow week before that. I had three absolutely crap days. So I think the hot weather is no good for eBay sales. Either. I think we all know that the sunny weather, people are out living instead of inside shopping, you know. And, and I they, want a Tiffany bracelet. Sorry. Oh, nice. No, they should be out enjoying the sunshine, isn't mm. it? Yeah, it's quite yeah. right. Too. But they should be out enjoying the sunshine and buying on eBay while they're out. Well, when they come back in, then, you know, buy all those things. Definitely, yeah. Please. <laughs> yeah, the what was my ka -ching? Oh, it's a 99p bid. One bean each tonight, kids. Clapham Coins won £10,000 on Heart Radio last October. Nice. Wow. That's cool. I, nice. I won, I won £1,500 on a Radio one. Um, and two foreign holidays and one UK holiday. I've never won any money in any kind of competition, apart from the odd 10 quid on the lottery here and there. Yeah. I did have four numbers come out on the lottery back in the early days when four numbers used to get you about 65 quid, but it was a variable one. So the more people won, the less you got. And the, and the week that I won, it was 19 pound. I was gutted. Oh. So I counted up my four numbers. Like, yeah, I've got four numbers. I'm going to get like 60 quid, which at that time I was on income support. And that was more money than I actually had in a week. And yeah, when I got to the shop, it was 19 quid. That's 16, 16 quid that week. Oh. <laughs> I was devastated. <laughs> Yeah, see, Chris says she had a crap week in the shop, but then Saturday was like Christmas and made it an okay week. Hmm. It's been funny. It's been a funny old time. I need to stop buying stock. I am, my death pile is growing and I'm not selling it as fast as I'm buying it. So. Yeah, I, I need, um, um, I need to list some stuff this week. That's what I need to do. <laughs> mm. Ooh, have you not been listening bingo um i haven't done any really this week but i've done um about a hundred drafts i haven't photographed them yet um but i'll probably do i'll do my photography tomorrow and then i'll have like a week and a bit in hand so definitely having two two days that are dedicated that those are my ebay days is working for me it's yeah. I'm, I'm getting stuff done on those days so i do parcels all through the week i don't you know i said it's not that i don't do any ebay apart from those days because obviously i still answer questions reply to returns and do parcels and all the rest of it but i have two days that are it is an ebay listing day today yeah and that is working for me yeah only, I, I'm still only getting 30 or 40 done at the most before I'm like, that's enough of that. I can't face any more. But it's still, yeah. Well, at the moment, like the last couple of days, I've just been sat down, say like half hour at a time um, and just doing some drafts. And then, you know, like put a TV show on while I'm doing some mm. drafts. But I haven't done the photography. So that hasn't really felt like I've done any work. And then tomorrow I can just blast out the photos. Yeah. And that would be two weeks we could listing them. Yeah. yeah. Tom says he's been scheduling his listings, but what time do you schedule? Do you trickle them through the day? I start mine at 10 a.m. and they go up one every 30 minutes and I only go only do 10, 10, 10 go up per day and they go up every 30 minutes from 10 a.m. Whereas I start my um all all my listings start as auctions first. They all do a week's auction um just to see if they surprise me with their prices and they start from eight o'clock um every five minutes ten of them mm. so from eight o'clock to late 45 every five minutes mm. p.m no, I'm not German. i don't give a shit about rugby <laughs> p.m or football p.m yeah mm. yep and Lex, then, you love sport i don't know why you keep pretending to people that you don't like sport you love sport Oh my god! I think Lane, all... Laney's channel is called "Big Girls Really Do Cry." That is that is the channel name. I'm sure a mod can put a link in. Um, what was I going to say? Sorry, I interrupted you. I do it all the time. Oh. You should tell me to shut the fuck up. It's okay. Um, I don't know about sport. The only time that I will watch rugby is when my nephew will play for Wales which because he's hopefully coming back because he plays league at the moment 
but he's thinking of transferring back to Union, which is like the Six Nations and all of that. So he might be coming back to Wales to live as well. Where does he live currently? Um, in Leeds, and he plays for Halifax. But Why doesn't he live in Halifax? Huh? Why doesn't he live in Halifax? Because he goes to Union Leeds. Oh. Because he's doing his Masters there. Or he's just finished his Masters. But um, he's still under... I can't understand why you're not into rugby, he says you're Welsh. I think he thinks it's like pre-programmed. Yeah, but it's also just a pile of shite, isn't it? <laughs> Apart from curling, curling's good. I like watching curling. Um, and gym watch sports. But... The one that astonishes me is people watching motor racing. No, because not... all you see is... And I've, I've actually been to one of those as well and been in the crowd, went to, to Silverstone, I think, mm. one year. And it was literally just like that, just going, oh. <laughs> and then waiting ages for another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And not about who the hell they are either. It's not like no, they're going far too fast for you to identify them. them. Yeah, it's like, was that a red car? I don't know. <laughs> was that Ferrari? No idea. I don't know. On the board and go, all oh, right, apparently that was that person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very strange. Oh, excuse me. Hello, oh. Lex. Is Wales a good place to live? Where is the best place I'm thinking of moving from London? That's a difficult question because there are nice places and Yeah, yeah it depends on whether you want to live in a city. Um it's certainly a less expensive place to live than London. Yeah, definitely less expensive. I mean like it depends what you're after in in a thing. I would definitely go um like coastal because Wales has some lovely coastline. Um and probably not too far from Cardiff and stuff because like Cardiff is awesome. If I could live anywhere, I suppose I'd li either live in like Penarth, which is lovely, um, or Cowbridge. <laughs> Some of them are dangerous. So if you've been on a pavement and there is somebody coming up behind you in one of them, you need to jump to the side. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Oh, look, Catherine, I waited four hours at the Tour de France and they'd all gone through in eight seconds. Imagine if just for that eight seconds, you're like, I just I need to go for a wee. And then you're like, oh, <sighs> not that. <clears throat> yeah, I wouldn't mind living in Wales. It's, um, I, I think, I think, well, your money goes a bit further here, I think. Hmm. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. There are places where poverty is rife and hmm. are not very nice. Um, but I think definitely, like, if you have money, probably already. Like, if you're moving, say, if you were selling up in London, you're going to come um, with a, a bit of wedge in your back pocket, aren't you? Even even once yeah. you've bought a new house, you're still going to have a little bit of a cushion exactly. left over, and it's nice. Yeah, Penarth and Cowbridge are expensive, but they are lovely. Penarth still Marina. probably not expensive compared to London, though. Oh, God, no. no when you look at the prices that people are paying for, like, a one-bedroom flat in London, no. Like, my um, the house that I want to buy in Cowbridge, like, the one that's, like, that one, I'll have that one. Um, I think that's, it was last on sale for one and a half million, which, like, obviously that's pricey for Wales, but I mean, like, what could you get for that in London, you know? Yeah. And like if, for God for one and a half million pounds, like in Bridgend, you could get one of the nice houses on Park Street. In fact, I don't even think they're that much, but they're gorgeous houses. But um, yeah, uh, Wales Wales is all right, you know. We've got everything. We've got four hundred odd castles. Just buy one of them, <laughs> and lots of history. Basically, all of our history is the English came and beat us up. And then ran away again. But it's cool. And we have a nice booming film and television industry as well. So lots of the cool scenery gets used in uh, films and TV, like Harry Potter in Swansea and stuff. So you can visit all these places. Doctor Who in Cardiff, you know. Oh, yes, Tenby's lovely. West Wales. 
um, there's Barrafundal Bay, which I want to go to, and um, Tenby and Aberiron, they're really lovely. Newquay in West Wales, you can see dolphins there. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's lots of nice things, and then there's a lot of shitholes as well, as with ever, you know. And it is quite handy being on the M4 and like the main train across to London, the Swansea London train is very handy. So, yeah. But yes, you have to be prepared to give up your vowels, as Stephen said, and um, get used to weird pronunciations of things. Yes, Three Cliff, Cliffs Bay, yeah, it's awesome. Um, so yes, Kelly, I saw that one as well. He's the only person living in um, this town when everyone goes home, because they're all people's second homes. It's just me. One bedroom flat for sale in Northcote Road between the Commons, three hundred and eighty thousand. Where's that? One bedroom flat for sale in Kensington Gardens, nine million. Yeah. Nine million for a one bedroom flat. And that's insane. Nine million pounds would buy you my steak. <laughs> <laughs> buy you an entire village, yeah. Well, but you wouldn't want it. <laughs> yeah, three and a half million in Eaton Place. I mean, I, I realise those are high-class addresses. You know what I mean? Those are, what, what are they called? You know, expensive addresses. But yes, Josh, you do go. thing is, when um, when people are buying those literally to have the address... Yeah. So it's like some Russian oligarch that just wants, you know, Kensington Gardens address. They probably don't actually stay there or anything. You know. Ooh, a cottage near Ab I Aber Island is lovely. There's like nothing to do there, really. It's just a pretty coastal town with a, a pub and a chocolate shop from what I can remember. But it's very, very pretty. You know. It could pretty much buy, it could buy you certainly a big chunk of Wales, for sure. I mean, um, so my sister's house was one and a half, no, what am I on about? It was a quarter of a million. Um, and that's a nice, decent -ish house, but there's no way that you could get anything like that, like in London, ugh, under a few million probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose the idea is that if you are paid a London rate that you can afford to, but you can't. No one who works in London can afford to live in London. Really. No. It just sucks. Yeah. It's all Russian oligarchs. They own London. Damn the oligarchs. I mean, don't um, tell them I said so because yeah. they've got a lot of money. Yeah. Secretly damn the oligarchs. I won't yeah. because I know someone who knows the Welsh Mafia, so the oligarchs can know. Uh... <laughs> Except they, they're they not rich, though. <laughs> they're just dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, need to say goodbye because <laughs> I need to tidy up this mess and go and get my mother and put a chicken in the oven and various other exciting Sunday things. And I'm going to go... And this is life coaching. Do they still happen? They do, occasionally, not very often. Yeah. What are you up to today? Going to have a swim and then come back and eat. Oh, yeah, you said, yeah. And I've got an Ocado delivery coming tonight with some ice cream, but they've messaged me that the low-carb bread that I've ordered is not in stock, so they substituted it for other bread. Like, no. It's not low-carb and you didn't want, yeah. Yeah, it's like, no, there's a reason why I bought low-carb bread. Hmm. But there we are, never mind. You can turn it away, at the, I mean, not politely. You can, Politely at the door, you can say, I don't want my substitutions. Not yeah. not turn it away at the door, take it away. How very dear. <laughs> but at least the ice cream hasn't been substituted, so that's that. But it's just a shame, no bread. Dermot says the average price here in Limerick, where he's from, is about 280 euros. I could afford that. And then further on, he says, no, that's 280,000. I can't afford that after all. For a moment, I was like, yes, we're off to Limerick. Yeah, we're moving there. Damn. 
Channel Nam says, I'm hopefully going to move to my one-story glory in the next couple of months as I'm buying a bungalow at the age of 40. How mature I am. <laughs> yes, I'm getting pistachio ice cream and another flavour. I'm getting mint chocolate chip. And I have just about got some cereal left. That cereal that I got in my Crave Kit box yesterday, oh, my God, it's so good. I went and ordered some more. We, we saw you um, enjoying oh, that, yeah. Bloody <laughs> hell. Really nice. Proper good. Uh, that was at the point when I went to bed when you were talking about crunchy grandmas. Crunchy grandmas, yummy. Yeah. So I ordered the chocolate flavour. <laughs> right. I need to go to bed now, I think. I'm going to go sit in the pool and the jacuzzi and the sauna. Ah. Nice, nice. Have a lovely afternoon. Thank you to everyone for joining us this morning. There are 238 of you still hanging on, bless you all. And um, have a nice week. There will be, if I get my ass together and record it, there'll be a charity shop video tomorrow. <gasps> then there will be. The waffle on Tuesday. Am I still fat on Thursday? And something else, we don't know what, on Saturday. All of the above. Thank you, Lex, my continuity announcer. I've just quite <laughs> arrived. <laughs> everybody have a lovely week take care look after yourselves and we will see you back here same time next week ish ish same time ish doesn't have a time but around about now <laughs> take care bye awkward way bye. see y'all later